Mason Elementary School sent this letter home to parents, letting them know about those disturbing phone calls that were made to the principal's office. My son was scared, even though he's a boy. He said he came running home because he, he was nervous about it. Mike Lentini's fifth grader brought this letter home from school Wednesday after two inappropriate phone calls were made to the principal's office just before 2.30 that day. Dr. Thomas Harwood is superintendent of Gross Point Public Schools. We're told the caller said he wanted to take pictures of girls. They were from a block phone number um, that had a uh, conversation of a sexual nature. They were very brief phone calls. The school called Gross Point Woods Police after receiving those disturbing calls. And for a second day, security was stepped up here at Mason Elementary. An officer patrolled school grounds as kids went home for the day. We're uh, a community that we watch out for our children, and it's really important that the community is aware of if there's any suspicious activity or any concerns for the welfare and safety of our students that they're going to be informed. Lentini says he's had talks with his son about stranger danger before, and this is an opportunity to reinforce them. Mm -hmm. Normally he comes home by himself, but he wants me there to let him take him home. You don't know if it's for real or just a joke or what, so mm -hmm. it's good that they notified everybody. In Gross Point Woods, a new Prakash 7 Action News.